Hi, in today's short video, I'm going to be putting up some architrave around this door frame. The architrave's already been cut to size and mitered, but there's a bit of a problem. Because this is an old door lining, one, it's not square, and two, I've got plasterboard sticking out proud of the door lining and what it means is when I'm putting the architrave on it's moving around and it's not not sitting flush uh, and in order to get a really nice mitre what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my domino joining machine and I'm going to actually put a domino in the mitres to make sure that the faces stay flush. I decided to use two 4 by 20 mil dominoes in the bigger pieces of architrave there is a smaller piece where I'm just going to use one. The architrave itself is made from 15mm MDF so the dominoes are just for making sure the faces are flush, they're not really for strength or anything like that so they don't need to be too big. In terms of the positioning, one's done using the little tabs on the machine and the other I've actually marked 80mm from the corner of the mitre. On the smaller piece I've marked it 15mm from the inside of the corner. And to give some flexibility I'm using the slightly looser setting for the slots on the vertical pieces. When fitting together as expected there is a little bit of side to side play but that won't be relevant once the joints glued. The dominoes are doing their job though and the face is nice and flush. I'm using mitre bond to fix the joints together. You might know this as CA glue, it's just the actual glue itself and then an activator sprayed on. It works really well, bonds in about two or three seconds you do have to be careful though I've stuck my fingers together on a lot of occasions off camera I glue the other joint and then I can just move the whole frame into place you're getting a lovely view of the back of my head but as you can see it does make the frame nice and easy to adjust and move around and I've got no worries about the front of the frame being flush and then I can just fix it. In this case I'm using 50mm brad nails, I don't need to glue it or anything like that. There's a wooden frame behind the plasterboard so it's not going to be moving around. Giving the joints a final sanding with some 120 grit paper. To be fair, I probably don't need to do this. It's getting painted and I am sanding away some of the primer, but I'm going to reprime the whole thing after I've filled the nail holes and then it's going to be painted. That's the end of the video. I'm definitely going to use the domino again when I'm fitting architrave. It makes life so much easier. If you're not a subscriber already, please subscribe and hopefully I'll see you again soon.